that low area. You saw that Shoal Creek was a river the last few days. Nicely played there by Co. More of a descending strike. That puts more spin on it at the seventh. You know, we've watched, I mean, it's a beautiful scenery looking right down at the flagstick. Here at 10. Shot she's thinking about making. And this has got to be just uh, in her wheelhouse right here. We've seen her hit some beautiful wedges. Shot. Here, this is the hardest hole on the back nine. The second nine. Now there's a slope right there. If this gets over that hill, that sand shot here just kind of get it out and let it run to the hole. Three steps over that bunker from the fringe and then four from the right. You need a precise shot here. And that's exactly what she wanted to have in Co. Giving herself that many chances. Hybrid. Nobody hits it closer than, than she does. Of course, Brad. Oh, sick of it. <laughs> On cue. I thought she shot. was bad with that. Yeah, I guess we're never done. Certainly a good fairway to hit. Down. That's a beautiful iron shot for Lydia and a bad kick there to the right. That's oh, that's a great play. She just kind of caught it a little bit thin. Good solid putt there. It's a big part too. She travels around with her. But Lydia is just one of the nicest girls you meet. She's really just uh, her misses this, this year. Her driving accuracy has not been well. You know, she's trying to get more distance, and sometimes when you try to do that. Close yesterday. Right on the cut. Another good iron, short iron wedge shot. But, she uh, was, you know, putting up Annika like numbers, Nancy Lopez like numbers, how quickly she got up there. But you know, you, you look at someone like Yanni.